All right, live guitar practice number 21. We're continuing Blackbird. This is day two. <coughs> There's a link below to The Art of the Guitar. Uh, this guy does a great breakdown of the way Paul McCartney actually plays this song and why I say the correct way to play this. A lot of us have played this wrong. A lot of us have probably taught this wrong, including myself. Uh, like a simplified version of it, right? Um, so I'm going to kind of rehash some of the stuff that I did yesterday because it's a good reminder for me. Just kind of get it back in my fingers. Um, so it'll be a little bit of review, but obviously the second day the review goes a little bit quicker than it does the first. So a lot of what he's doing is only using these two fingers. Um, when you see two notes together, like, uh, actually let's just highlight that first measure. When you see these two notes together, this three and the zero, it's when he's plucking, he's doing this. And if you're not good at that, just sit here for a second and go, Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to get my uh, YouTube set up the right way. Sorry, it's a Sunday morning. It's a little early. Give me one second. One second. So, you know, this is what happens when you go live. Now anyone can chat, otherwise, you know, it's restricted sometimes. Oh, okay, there it is. Live chat. I think actually live chat was already set, but we're setting it again. And turning this hotspot off just to make sure everything's going to work well. As I was saying, so a lot of what Paul McCartney's doing in this song is when there's two notes together, he's plucking them like this. And when you see anything on the G string, for the most part, is just a, a fingernail strum. So like that first measure. And again, guys, if you guys need the sheet music or want to support us, become a member at musicbythemeasurespro.com. It helps us write really great tablature. Um, which I, I think you can kind of pull up Blackbird on a couple other, maybe like Songster or a couple other websites, and you're going to see that it's lacking a lot of the detail that we have here. This is like note for note everything he's playing, which also makes it a little bit hard to learn. So, you know, kind of give yourself some grace, but it's, it's better than parts or sections missing, right? Okay. Um, so, yeah, he's doing this one and two. And as we get up to speed, it's a little bit easier to make this first finger move kind of more like a pick. Sometimes at this slower tempo, it's a little haphazard. All right, so let's review. Oh, let's do that second measure, too. So we have these 12s. You can hear that, that one and a. And I think of anything that's a 16th note, um, up strum like an E or an A, uh, I'm doing an up with my finger. Anything that's an end, so it's like one down up, or I could say, I mean, this is together, together, down up, down up, down, together, down up, down up, down. Kind of becomes the pattern. As you get going, like it gets a little bit easier to do right away. It's like, yeah, it's a lot of thinking. One and a uh, two E and three and a uh, four E. thing too is try to relax as you're playing that right like your focus your little intense maybe you're maybe just waking up on a Sunday morning but um try to get your right hand to just like calm as you're playing which will really help as we get up to faster speeds all right let's try this at 50 bpm Four four there.
just like one little is there something different here yeah he kind of hits that 12 I think you know when you record a song you just play and and sometimes when we go back to transcribe it's like did he mean to hit that 12 maybe not same thing with like this mute did he really mean to hit that no but we're gonna try to like get it as close to sounding that way as possible um, let's grab this actually no we'll keep that there so let's just kind of run through again if you guys need more time on this I worked on it yesterday I went much slower today is kind of like a quick review as I work on getting this up to speed so verse one we're just going one and two and three and and then we got this slide again exact as possible it doesn't have to be perfect one and uh, two e and three and uh, four e and all right do those two measures probably just do two measures at a time So I gotta watch that one and two and three and sometimes when I pick, I'm strumming the wrong string. One and uh, two E and three and uh, four E and. All right, let's move on. Like I said, just going through stuff fast today. So we got this. Same thing, so now we're switching to the offbeat um, eighth note one and two and three and four and so all those ands are going to be our down strums really close and then that up strum is that mute so let's just do, do those two measures me struggling getting back to that a little bit. One and two and three and four and cool. Just gonna take a little time. All right, let's put uh, those four measures together. That's kind of how we'll do it today. Thank you. 
So a little bit of hard, a little bit of a hard, a little bit of a problem just like having it memorized, knowing what's next. Also having to look at the sheet music and then try to slide up to those 12s and hit that all. Just little things I gotta work on. measures so I got this five seven Just keep going. Um, yeah, we'll just do these two. Obviously a little challenging for me to get back and forth there and, and paying attention. do we have left yeah let's just start tackling it from here on and then putting this together so we'll do these two measures I struggled with this rhythm yesterday because it's going one and two e and e just because it's a slight difference than before alright I think we're good let's try these two So again, I want to put everything together in context, so you know, relatively soon I can play the whole song. Just try those four measures. And a two E and a one. Two, two three, four.
So, I mean, that's pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. All right, then we have this. Yeah, I'm going to spend a little extra time on this A7 measure and B7 sus4 chord because those get me a little bit too. One, so one and a two E and. You know, a lot of my fingers are doing the approximation. I'm getting like, let's say like 95% of it there. last three Big question is, can I play that all from uh, not not from memory, but like I have to be able to sight read this. So we'll we'll see how I do. There's a couple of measures that make me think a little bit too much. Like I don't know what's coming next. a mistake on there so let's just try to do that by myself a minute so one and two already gonna wear your fingers out a little bit you know so I did like an hour and 20 minutes of this last night so today it might be or today might be a little shorter than that because um, I can even feel it like just getting these two all the time it does kind of move in this nice kind of like downwards progression which makes it a little bit easier to get parts of it memorized like I kind of know I kind of know what's going to come next I don't always though
wasn't the end. measure of G, the last one is one in the two E and one, one in the two E and. All right, again. One, two, three, four. here and there but all right let's go up by let's go by fives you know I'm gonna live with some of these bad notes because it's just I can't sight read it fast enough like I don't know the next part and if the page doesn't turn so I'm gonna kind of forgive myself a little bit two three four <laughs> Same thing with that A7 there. One and one in the one in the two E and three in the. All right, it'll get smoother. I think we we'll go up to 60 though. Full speed's 95. Um, I think in a day or two I can have that at full speed. 
two, three, four. cheated but I played it wrong right I let my second finger get in there now that's really okay I mean I'm trying to learn it the correct way and play it how it's written but sometimes I'm gonna make mistakes two three four keep inching it a little bit faster so we'll go by fours um you know I'm not expecting perfection out of anything I'm playing right now and if there's a measure I keep screwing up I mean tomorrow or yeah probably tomorrow I'll come back to it and fix just that measure but it's just really helped me putting it together in context right trying to get the whole thing figured out letting myself make those mistakes because when I go perform this live which is the the end goal right I want to go play an open mic night with a song um I know I'm not going to play everything no for no. I'm not going to read off the sheet music. I'm going to play the idea of what's going on in the song. And I recommend that you guys try to do the same. Three, four...
making that G up at the end. I don't know how it's actually played. And the sheet music doesn't scroll fast enough. You'd be surprised though. Even even playing stuff a little sloppy and then coming back the next day and like cleaning up one or two things. I think yesterday was my like, hey, let's be exact. Let's clean stuff up. Let's learn how to play these parts. Now today is just like apply, apply, apply. Let's try to get this up to speed or wherever we can get and then you can refine a little bit. It, it, it's kind of like, what is your ambition of this practice today? And, and set your ambition. Set your ambition, know what you want to accomplish, accomplish that. If you try to accomplish everything at once, you will get nowhere. I do that a lot in my own practice, and it's one of the things that I'm trying to coach myself on is like, hey, you, you don't have to play like that every single time. And, and then there are other times where all you want to do is focus on those small things. So, two, three, four. Everything's lined up. Move this microphone because I have a habit of like leaning into the microphone if it's down. It's time for a little break. We're about like 35 minutes in, which I think is pretty good for the song. I think that's about where I got our left off last night. I know it wasn't much faster than that. If it was faster at all. Four, one.
so now I'm just getting distracted. All right. Um, just not sight reading it fast enough. try to play through these measures that that throw me off rhythmically just a little bit in movement right oftentimes on that a7 I like to go to the fourth string because on the d7 we go to the fourth string for the measure of G three oh I guess it I am playing a three and a zero but all right one and so I'm starting again from the G slash B I'm starting to get a little sloppier than I'd like to. We're gonna go, let's go up by twos. Let's just push this a little bit. So, I mean, we're 21 BPM away from full speed. So now I kinda just wanna see how fast I can get. So I'm gonna forgive, and hopefully you guys as well, will, uh, all the sloppiness. It's, it's more just about, can I get these fingers up to speed? Two, three, four. measures I'm not as comfortable with right obviously you start speeding those up to where you're not 
not feeling good about it, you're going to mess up more. But All right. Again, these are going to be sloppy, but we're just trying to get up to speed. Two, three, four. to do this slide without looking it did not work as you could probably tell four one and two and So it's getting to the point where it's like hard for me to sight read and think about what's next. So this is not going to make it better, but I don't know. Seems like what's the thing to do right now. Just speed it up a little bit more. Two, three, four. <laughs> Hear those that A7, D7 sus4 measures suck. Let's do, um, let's do 86. It's not, like I said, it's going to be a little sloppy, uh, and that's going to be okay. Two, three, four. <laughs> I can tell you the big difference is I just feel very rushed in my right hand um, and actually I doubt my left hand I don't it's not consistent right um, and, and with that you start playing with a little bit of strain and overthinking and sometimes the parts a little bit more made up than what's written but all right let's do a couple more at 86 and then I think I'm gonna be done one two three four <laughs>
figuring out. Okay, I think that's good enough for today. Um, it's kind of what I have in the bag for myself and what I can accomplish right now. If you guys need the sheet music or want to help support these videos, become a member at musicbythemeasurespro.com. For $9.99 a month, you get 10 pieces of high-quality sheet music, very thought out. Um, and we appreciate your guys' support, and you guys have a good rest of your Sunday. Thank you for watching.